Welcome to The Shack. My name's Barbara Gray from Clarity here in the UK, and we're set to have another hour of F for fun. Um, I hope that there are a few of you already coming into the building. I'm early to the party just to make sure that our friends find us okay. Here they come. Linda, good to have your company. Uh, Grace in New York will be keeping us company too, so she's in the room with you. And if you have any questions at all, then darling Grace is here to help. So any minute now, she'll be joining us. And, um, and I'm hoping that the sound is good and not too shrill. Um, also, we've got a new light. We put a great big new light here in the studio um, because the backdrop here was always quite dark. So I'm hoping that I don't look too washed out. Um, Dave's going to be monitoring the light. Good evening, Ken. Are you back in the shack? And how was your, your trip to France? Good. Good to have your company. Lights, good. Sound, good. Great. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. What would I do without Dave, eh? Right, come on. Come on in and then we'll get started. Couple of minutes, let's have a cup of tea. It's been a busy day, busy day. Did anybody watch Paul on telly? He was, oh, God, oh that's Dave, yeah. Good, thank you, Dave. Um, yeah, Paul was on Create and Craft today, 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock. You can always go back and watch those Pergamano shows. Um, he did a grand job, as always. And um, yeah, the Pergamano party is in full swing on pergamano.com. So head on over there and see if you can't snatch yourself a lovely bargain. Those tools are back in the building. I blogged about it and explained, you know, why we felt the need to celebrate. And uh, it's been quite a journey, quite a quite a, a mission, getting production up and running. So to finally have the tools, Dave handed me the, the last two tools. Where are those? I put them somewhere. Um, yeah, the last two tools, the, um, the shaders, the medium and the tiny one, brand new. And he gave them to me proudly today. And he said, there you go. And that completes the collection. So he was pleased with himself. And so we should be. So yeah, if you if you haven't got the the shader tools, they look like little paper clips. And I did have them here, but I have to say I've been preparing for next week's TV shows whilst getting ready for this evening, whilst getting ready for next week's craft along. So they could be anywhere, basically. But have a look on pergamano.com if you want to treat yourself. There are three different sizes, large, medium, and now we have that fabulous little small one. I think it's 0.8 millimeters. I love them. I think they're great for shading. I'm excited to try the little one out. So there you go. And we are in the shack doing uh, the alphabet, aren't we? We're, we're creating an alphabet. And we started at the beginning of the year. And we're on F. We're working on F for fashion at the moment. F for friends, F for family. Do you remember last Thursday, we uh, we did have a lot of fun, didn't we? And we were working on these little, little daubs of paint and then we turned them into, um, oh, Dave's come in to give us the tools. Yeah, he's definitely enjoying himself, aren't you, Dave? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Dave. You're a hero. Mm. Mm, thank you. Welcome. I'll show you. So these are the tools now. This is the little one, the tiny one. See, they look like paper clips. Let me come into this camera so you can see it. And it's it's for shading. Really cool. Um, and when you look at them, they look, well, they are identical. The only thing that's different about them is the size. So, but you, when you see, when you see them next to each other, you can see the difference in size and it does make a substantial difference. It's like the ball tools, except these are the shaders. So if you're on your parching journey, then these are well worth having. Um, I'll, uh, let me get next week out of the way because we've got 
an ODS that I'm doing and a craft along and shack, la 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 la. And then, and then maybe I'll do a little, um, we'll have a little session on these and I'll show you, or I'll get Paul to do it in the shack. Yeah. But they are great. And they're back in the building. And that's why we are having a Pergamano party. Thank you, David. Right. So where was I? Yeah. So we were, do you remember we were, we were making these little blobs of paint with acrylic paint and then we were turning them into little people. Let's come in a bit closer. Let's come in a bit closer. There. Do you remember? This is so nice to do. So we did this, look, fashion, family, fun, <laughs> family photo. Now that one really made me laugh. Form a cue. And I saw some F for fabulous um, efforts on your part on our um, Clarity Worldwide page. You know, that's a Facebook page. I'm sure you, most of you will, will be dipping in and out of there all the time. We have a, we have a Groovy Worldwide. We have a Clarity Worldwide. So Groovy's Groovy's parchment. Then there's also actually a Pergamano Worldwide, which is a huge community. And that, again, is parchment, mixed, groovy, and traditional. And then, of course, we've got Clarity Worldwide, which is the Inky Painty Mixed Media Brigade. So and and Grace, our Grace, she she polices those those rooms so that we don't have any trolling. It's very safe. It's very kind, you know, because one thing that we do think at Clarity is that, um, you know, we craft for a reason. We craft to um, to relax, don't we? We don't we don't want to be upset. And so we don't have a lot of tolerance, actually. In fact, we got zero tolerance at Clarity for any bullying or racism or bigotry. We don't do that stuff. So, um, so Grace pleases those rooms. And so they, they are really, really pleasant. And our design teams, and you know they're big design teams, they, um, they're always hanging around in those rooms, keeping you company, answering your questions. They really are fabulous. So, so if you don't use those rooms, well, you may want to just pop in because if you ever have any questions or you're not sure, I mean, if they're business questions and they're about your order, there's no point in going in Groovy Worldwide and asking where's your order because nobody's going to know then you really should go to inquiries at claritystamp.com and speak to Sue, she who answers the phones at Clarity. But um, but those are, yeah, there's no point in talking about your orders on Groovy Worldwide. It really serves no purpose. However, um, when it comes to art like we're doing here, it's the perfect place to um, display your art. And it's like a gallery, really. It's a gallery uh, of ideas and inspiration and company and friendship. Very good. All three rooms worth, worth looking at. So on Monday, we um, on Monday, we got into the calligraphy people, didn't we? And I said that this evening we would take those said calligraphy people, those calligraphy folk, and we would turn them into cards. And I'm really chuffed with what I've done, and I'm going to share it with you because I think you'll like them too. Let's have a look, though, at the calligraphy people that we did. So, so we did the young lady, didn't we? Do you remember? We did this on Monday. We did uh, the girl with the, with the cape, and then we did the Charleston girl, um, we also did a couple of we did a couple of young people and we did the legs as well. So so what do we need this evening? Well, I'm going to use these as my guide. It's the same thing again. And we're going to take these three sketches and turn them into three really neat cards. All right. Because because uh, in the main at, uh, you know, in the shack, we. We doodle, don't we? We doodle, we draw, um, sometimes we colour in. We need to get some colouring in going again. We haven't done any serious colouring in for quite a while. But I thought it would be really nice to take, you know, like for you as well, 
to actually take our doodles and then take them right through to finished product. We did with the E for Elephant, didn't we? Do you remember? We um, we doodled them onto our collage papers. They came out really nice. So I thought we'd have a look at these. So let me show you. Right, you ready? I'm dead chuffed with these. Okay, I haven't put them together prop. I haven't put them together completely. There. How nice is that? Okay, you are, you're a class act. So let me take that out of the way. There's one. We're going to do all three of these. There's a set here. There's two. Aren't they lovely? What do you think? Looks nice on the wonk as well, I've got to say. And then we got number three as well. So there you go. Aren't they cool? Aren't they cool? Hey. So if I come into the other camera, then you can see exactly what we've done. So we've got an embedder. We've coloured her in. We used just pencils. I used pencils on, on one side just to give the illusion of shade. Then I used some companion papers, coloured, and the Bowwob papers, my faves. So the Bowwob papers, they really are special. So you can see these are the three pieces that we've used. Then I've got three colours and three strips. So you know that one sheet is going to give you lots. So first thing we need to do is our three, our three designs. It's cool though, isn't it? I think they're lovely. So the first thing we're going to do is transfer our art to little pieces of paper. So either you're going to doodle along with me or you're just going to watch and then have a go later. But either way, it's pretty simple. We, I've got a little box. This is a little craft along, really. I've got a little box here, and I need my pencil. I need, uh, I need my embedder. I need a rubber. I've got my tool for my embedder. Uh, I'm going to pen, so I need the ink. I've used a couple of... Um, you can use pergoliners, or you can use... Um, polychromos. I've got a couple of polychromos. I've got my glasses so that I can see you better. Um, sharpener, glue runner, tape runner and paper. There we are. That's all of it. That's all we need to do this job and some card blanks. So I'll take that. Right. This card is stencil card and because I'm using, I'll tell you that I've, I cut the size as well. The size is, I wrote it down for you, four and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. That's about the size of the front, the topper, if you like, right? So it's about, near as damn it, 110 mil or 85 mil, that sort of size. So the best, the biggest, the, the most you can get is out of um, eight and a half by 11 because you can get, you cut it down the middle like that, see, and then you can get six out of one sheet. It works quite well, okay? You get six out of one sheet there. So that works, okay? It's a good idea to have a stash of larger card in your, you know, because it's good to have the three and a half by three and a half, you know, the little toppers that we use, like, so they're just instant art like this. But sometimes when you wanted to make larger art, then, you, you know, you, you kind of, you want to go with a larger piece. This will last you a long time, you know. I tell you what, you know, I'm doing printing at the moment, and I bought, um, I bought some paper to do some printing, cartridge paper, because all I had was A3, and I wanted to make a big poster, big poster. When this paper arrived, I said to Dave, "It's." It's so big, I can't even put it through the printing press. It's so big. So we had to take it to work and get it cut in half. Because <laughs> I think I, it's A1. It's like massive, like a coffee, it's like a table, like a dining room table. So, um, yeah, so this is quite modest, comparatively speaking, friends. So let's have a look. We've got our, we've got, so we've got our little piece of card. I'll move all these bits out of the way because we're going to use those later. Right, come back to that because it really does make it. And what I did was, though, I went to the embedder. I've got to tell you, I went to the embedders, right, and I found the embedder 
and then cut the card to, to fit it. So I thought, let's make it easy on ourselves. Okay, so I found the embedder in the set, and then I and then I I worked out the 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 best way. It's what we always do at work. Um, we worked out what would be the best yield. So four and a quarter, four and a quarter, eight and a half, right? And they sit really nicely, the girls, on here. They're not too big and they're not too small. They're easy to draw. Cool? Now, it's up to you. Do you want to put the embedder in first or afterwards? Or forget it. Let's do the drawing. Let's do the doodling. We've got that. What you've got to bear in mind is that you've got that border, haven't you, around the edge. Okay, let's do her first. I always think she's the easiest one. Yeah? So we'll do her. Got a piece of card. Pencil at the ready. So you've got to consider that you want to put a hat on her. So her head, look, her head's quite a long way down. Okay? So if we put her head there, like that, then her hat's going to be there. That's about right. It seems like quite a long way down. And you're going to come to here. Oh, I'll tell you what else I worked out. Really cool. Um, and I'll show you later. I worked out how to do high-heeled shoes. Because I thought, well, they're not all wearing pumps, are they? They do wear stacks and high heels, you know, winkle pickers and that. So I'll show you how to make the little the shoes as well. It's really easy once you figure it out. There. Don't they look neat? So I'll show you. It's very easy once you once you know what comes next. So let's have a look. We've got our pencil. We've got our head. We're going to kind of draw um, in this area here. So you want to kind. You're going to go small. If that's the bottom of her, that's where her feet are. You're going to kind of stop there. So she's only tiny, and that's where the dress finishes. See. Let's come in a bit closer, shall we, so you can see what I'm doing. Are we all here, or is it just me? Hey. I think this is fun. Let's have a look. Okay. I know that a lot of people people on a um, on a Thursday evening, they um, they catch up later. I get that, and I understand that. Right, and for, forgive my... Forgive my fingernails. I'm embarrassed. Do you know what I did yesterday? This is really bloody stupid. So we go to the print room, right? Let's get started. Let's get, and I'll tell you. So we go to the print room, right? So we're going to go like that, like that, like that. Out we go into the waist, right? You can always stop and have a look, right? We've got to the waist and then we're going to go out to the hips and then we're going to come down to about here. And if we want to put a little angle on her, right, here we go, waist, hips, hips, down we come, there we go. Now we're coming in tight on the dress. Yeah, that'll be lovely. Little curl at the end, nice. So sh should we go one more time? There. So then we've got her feet, we're going to come out here. So we go one like that. There we go at the back, one at the front like so, there, nice, arms, let's have a go, so we're going to put her arm, one arm down here, like so, of course you got long arms, <laughs> it's all right, it's art, and then the other arm, quite willowy, isn't she, she goes like that, look, dropping her hand, like a little teardrop, that arm seems a little bit excessive, Grey, <laughs> okay so i go to this art class with jazz yesterday there we are that's better yeah nice right hat so it goes to the art class she's going to look good and we've still got enough room got a lovely dress legs are good got nice feet cool right hat We'll do the hat in two sessions. So the hat's going to come down like that and over like so. Nice. And then we'll put a little... So we're going to go up from here. And then we'll go like that. There you go. Lovely. Okay, so that's the hat. Got that sorted. 
We'll put a couple of little earrings. So this one, all of them have got different earrings. This one's got little like hoopy earrings with a little dot, little dangles like so, right? Oh, and also she's got a little collar like that. See, it's the little things. Okay, and then the feet, I thought we could make her like little, like that, see? Little pixie, little pixie shoes. Okay. Yeah, so I'll let you catch up. <laughs> so, so we go to this art class and after the weekend where my hands were black and I had to scrub them until they were raw, I thought, I'm going to wear gloves. I'm going to wear gloves when I'm dealing with the ink at the beginning and I'm going to wear gloves when I'm dealing with the ink at the end when you click the mop up. The mop up is when I got, I really lost it here. So I got these blue gloves on, right? Sorted out the plates and got the ink out at the beginning. Then I took the gloves off because when you're printing, you know, you don't want inky gloves on. So I took the gloves off and then right at the end, three hours later, and my hands are pretty clean, you know, because you keep your hands clean, then your artwork stays clean. So then at the end, it's time to mop up. The mop up's always a bit, because it's this rubber ink. It's like really oily, slicky. It only moves with white spirit. It's quite something, okay? So I think, right, I'm going to put my gloves back on. So I put my gloves back on. And then, I mean, admittedly, it was quarter to 10 at night. And I looked at them and I thought, why are they so clean? <laughs> So I'd put them on inside out. <laughs> so when I took my gloves off, they were absolute, my hands were filthy again. I oh, know. Yeah, live and learn, you live and learn. So what I should have done was played the old blow, blow the, you know, the, the cow's udders trick with the glove. There you go. So the fingers are really raw again. All right, let's do this one, one at a time. So we've got her. Now, I tell you what we, do you want to do the embedder now? So that if it's a disaster, shouldn't be, but let's just do it. Come on. If we do the embedder now, then yeah, it's done, isn't it? Right, let's do this. Because then we know how much room we've got as well for the words. We can decide what we want to say. Right, that'll do. Right, cool. Let's get a piece of paper. Let's just get a piece of paper so you can see what I'm doing. That'll do. Right. So we'll turn it over. We're happy with the position. Sorted. Oh, fuss is dust. <laughs> right. It's a good job. That's on the back. Right. <laughs> it's a little bit of blue um, pigment, isn't it? <laughs> Who's texting me here dave zoom out a little bit bob oh, all right that can be arranged how's that is that better thanks dave give me the okay that that's all right or do you mean from the front please right so i need a little tumble dry sheet i don't know where they are i had one earlier Right, Dave, give me a clue what you mean. Front or? This is where I start to feel very isolated, friends. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go like that and we're going to just use our number two tool. There we are. Just go around like that. Make sure that's right. Then we'll turn it over and lift that off. So we've got our embed. Nice. Okay, that'll do for later. Right, come on. Let's get this finished. So we've got a number one tool, a num number one of the uh, micron pens. Okay, we'll use the number one on this one and then we'll ink her up. My suggestion is that we always have a piece of card. Let me just lean over here. Right, not that card, that is good. Yeah. Let's just get a bit of, just a bit of white card. 
and all my scraps. Um, same card as what we're using, so we know what it looks like. Right, and then we're going to use this. This is a good one, I think. That'll work. Okay, off we go. So I'll use my Dame Edna's for this, though, so I can see what I'm doing. And then we're just going to ink up. Okay, so let's have a look. Can you see this all right? Is my head in the way? I have to put my head here so I can see what I'm doing. Right, over we go and down. Right, let's get the hat in first. Okay, I'll leave the face out for a minute. I'll leave the face out for a minute. Right, so here we go. And we're going to go, let me show you something. If I want to stop, I'm going to stop on a, um, on a crossover, not midstream. So then I can start again, right? And I can look where I'm going. See, so I can look where I'm going. Okay, so if I want the hips to be a bit bigger, then I can come out a bit and I can come in. Here we go. We've got a little bit of a little bit of a curl going. So we'll come back in. But I'm always stopping. Here we go. Tell you who would have enjoyed this. Pat Hosking, wouldn't she? There, you see? So you've got that dress. Then we'll get the let's get the those collars in. That's nice. Neck. And then we'll put the head in, like so. Earrings. Dot dot cool right arms let's get the arms in so we're going to just come in like so teardrop hands there we are and the foot that leg looks a bit weird let me just have a think if her so if i'm going to come in now right let's get the shape going so we're going to go like so and on the other side, like so. Oh, no, that works. So now the leg, the back leg is going to be there, like so. And the front leg is going to be there. That makes sense. Are we, are we close enough here? Let's get those little pixie boots going. There we are. There. Nice. Okay. That's her sorted. So we're going to let her dry now. Right? She's ready to go. That's her. She's got gloves on. Should we put gloves on her? That's easy enough. Right, gloves. So we just put the gloves on. So all you're doing then is going over the top like so. Right? Let's get those gloves in. There. Gloves in. We'll make them black. Hmm? Should we make them black? Yeah. There we are. Very nice, eh? Little thumb. I enjoyed doing these. I really did. Got a hand. Little thumb. I love these women. That looks great. Okay, so we're going to let that ink dry before we apply any colour, okay? So that's that one done. Next up, how are you feeling? Good with this? Um, next up, uh, let's one. Next one, we'll go to the Charleston. All right, we'll go to the Charleston one. Let's do her. Okay, so we've got her done. We'll pop her to one, put her to one side. Now we're going to go Charleston. So we've got another piece of card. Another piece of card. There we are. So we're going to put her in the middle because she's definitely, she's jiving, right? Let's do the Charleston. Okay. Pencil. So the head is going to go again. You see, you've got to think the hat. So we're going to put the head there. Then the hat is going to be going to be a bit lower than that. Great, actually. So if you're going to put the hat, let's just put the hat in. Like so, if you put the head there. Seems like a long way down, but it's about right, you know. So we we'll put that. Let's just put the hat, the head in. 
Now, this one's got a neck like so, right? I know I'm not pressing hard. Sorry if you can't see this. Can you see that? Is that better? If I No, you need to see it overhead because of the, in a minute, the calligraphy. So now we've got a, we, we're going to have cap sleeves, see? So you're going to put the cap sleeves on there like that. So the so it goes down straight, this one. She goes down straight and then it goes out like so. And then the legs are in. But you only want to go to about there, okay? You can make pencil marks like this and then you can take them out afterwards, can't you? Right, this is going to be cool. Okay, so now off we go, right down to here. And then we'll put the legs in and then we'll put the hat in. Right, we're right with this. Is anybody here apart from me? I think so. My little lady is one and a half inches. She's cute. I'm trying so hard. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. Right, here we go. So we'll start here and we're going to go down, 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 getting to about where it starts to go out, right? Because here we are. It's going to go out a little bit. I reckon that is perfect. So we've got a really lovely little shape going there. Yeah. And then we've got the legs. Now the legs, she's going to be doing the Charleston. So front one down like so, and then foot like that. And then the one behind is because your knees are like so. There we are. Right, she's doing that thing, isn't she? And then the arms, right, we're going to put the arms in like so, and then quite willowy teardrop arms. Because these are, do you remember we were talking about Vogue patterns and how lovely these look when they're done? There, this is so nice. There you go, really long arms, sexy girl. Okay, so we've got her head like so. And then her hat is going to be quite square, like so. Give it that. And then her is going to be there like that. So let's have a look. If we go, I'm going to go, I'm going to come from the top. One, two, three, four, five. Looks good enough. It's a little bit taller than I would have liked. But there you go. She is what she is. And she's got dangly earrings. So we're going to go long thing like that and then that'd be nice she's got gloves on too because she would have there we are nice good so that's that one next job going into mass production here these would make smashing notelets though wouldn't they don't you think so we pop that one down put it on something that's like that Get that edge in. If you can't get the edge in very well, see if you can find it. There it is. Sometimes you need just to coax it with a with like a cup or something. Just to find it so that you can then embed. Yeah? Yeah, there you go. I think it's important for me is this project completion. I I, um, I used to be really bad at project completion. You know, I always have loads of projects on the go, but I never really finished any of them. And, um, and then I, I had to kind of address it really, you know. And when I looked at it, I read up on it, figured out why that is, that people do that. And a lot of it is, and I bet this resonates with loads of you, right? If you don't finish something, then it's not, it can't be judged, can it? If you don't finish it, no one can make comment on it. And um, and that was quite, a, quite something when I realised that. That I, I wasn't finishing my artwork, I wasn't finishing my projects, because if I finished them, then I was setting myself up for criticism, which I didn't want. Isn't that interesting, though, you know? And once I realised that, actually, um, 
one, I, you know in the, in the shack there are no judges here, you know, and I've really got quite a, an intolerance for that judgmental kind of, that critical, you know, critical appraisal. Because, you know, you should tread very gently when you give an opinion on somebody's art or on somebody's creation because you're treading on people's dreams. That's how I see it, you know. And so, so I've taught myself project completion I've I finished the job you know and but I have to finish it for me when I finish it I, ha I have to hand it over I can't be worrying what people think or I'll drive myself potty I have to like it and once I'm happy with it then everybody's opinion is their opinion and of course we appreciate praise you know and like my dad always said, if you can't think of anything positive to say, then don't say anything, you know. But, but I really do think that that's why I thought it would be really good now, this evening, to finish these three cards, make these little cards, and I'll show you just some, some finishing tricks, you know, because they're, they're easy. I mean, the embedders are a brilliant finishing trick, aren't they? They just make everything look classy. I'd buy these little cards in a, in a shop. Do we like her hat like that? Well, she is what she is, friends. Let's see now. The reason I'm putting that under there when I'm doing the embedding as well is I'm moving that rather than because um, I don't know this could be real dirty, right? This. So this is the front of the card, and of course I'm sh shimmying around on the front of the card. So that's why I use a piece of piece of paper. Right. Let's have a look. So we're going to go, do you know, I'm not happy with that hat. And she's not inked it yet, has she? So let's cut this cat down a bit. I mean, she wouldn't be able to do the Charleston with a hat on like that. <laughs> eh? Not easy anyway. So if we go, so we go like that, like that, like that, like that. And then there, we just, that's the one. Thank you, Barbara. Much happier with that. She'd feel a lot happier wearing that fascinator than what we had on before. That looked like one of those, those ice creams. You know the ones that Mr. Whippy gives you? <laughs> and then you see all the kids howling at the, uh, at the seaside because it's on the floor and it's all, you know, gravity, people. <laughs> right, here we go. So make sure your pen's nice, your micron pen, and then we're going to go. Let me just check somebody's writing to me. Don't feel isolated here with you as always. I knew you were going to say you put your gloves back on inside out. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. I made some nice prints, though. <laughs> right, you ready? Start again, and off we go, slowly, not too heavy. That's nice. Nice hat, nice earrings, and a neck. So we've got little cap sleeves. Cool, and off we go now. So, I probably want to come out a bit further, but we'll see what we're going to do. I'm going to go off piece here. Right, down we go. What am I doing? Right, out. Go out a bit further now. And down. And start to swing. Yay. Right, I need to stop for a minute to just to check how long I want this dress to be. Not too much longer. I think I might... I think I might, yeah, it's about right where I've got it. And finish. Okay, so do you think that she would look better in high heels? I'll show you how to do high heels and then we can decide. No, they didn't wear high heels when they were doing the Charleston, Gray. They did not wear high heels when they were doing the Charleston. That would have been a calamity. There you go, that works. And we're going to put them, they had a little tiny sort of strap shoes, didn't they? There you go. Strap shoes. We'll make we'll make them colour it in a ball. Right, arms, glove. Uh, 
and you can see I'm a closet designer, fashion designer, can't you? <laughs> mm. I enjoy it. I really do. I'm going to have to sort out my wardrobe, though. It is so chock full of clobber. It's unsavoury, friends. And I think it's because I keep, it's delusional, really. I keep thinking that I'm going to lose weight <laughs> and then I'll be able to get into everything. But it doesn't work like that. It's not going to happen. Right, so I've done that one. So we've done that one and that one. And now we've got this one. We've done that one. So she's pretty cool. Let's colour in her gloves as well. I like black gloves. And we can add the words afterwards, can't we? I mean, if you don't like your own writing or you don't want to do it, why don't you use a sticker? Sticker would look really cool. Do you know that? You know, like, yeah. Hey, okay. Right, that's that one drying out before we, yeah. So we've got one, two, three. This one next. Okay, so now we've got this little girl, this gorgeous girl. One more piece of paper, card, sorry. One more card, right, and stretch your necks. Because There you go, stretch that neck. Which of the three is your favourite? Um, which is the free? Which of the three is your favourite? I like them all. <laughs> I like them all. I quite like this one. This is where we get to do the the high heels. You ready? Right. Let's have a look. Okay. So girly pencil, and we're going to put her to this side so that we can put the message here. Are we cool with that? So we're going to write hat, write border, frame, hat, head. So we'll put the head about there. That will do for the minute. Right. So we've got the head. We've got the neck. Neck. Long neck. Then we've got the, the cape. So we'll put a little triangle where we want. We don't want the cape to be too long. It's only going to be about that much. Okay. And then we're going to put the dress in. So we'll stop the dress about there, okay, I think. and Because we need room for the, we need room for the uh, legs, because I want to show you how to do. So if the legs are going to stop about here, right, the dress is going to be a short one, right, okay. Bit, bit of a, a mini, a mini dress. Right, ready? So we'll start here. And we'll make this sort of fold over a bit. She looks like a blinking skittle. <laughs> right. Just like so. Okay. So this is what I'm doing in large. This is her neck, right? And then where her neck comes down, I'm coming, I'm plunging, right? So I'm going like that. And then I'm plunging over that way. So she's got this, this demure thing going on, right? So you're going down like that and down. So you've got the little bit of cleavage if you want it. Higher up, though. If her cleavage is up there, she needs to get the next bra size down. <laughs> right, you ready? Okay. So we'll start here. And then we're going to go down to there, right? That'll do for the minute. And now we're going to make the cape. So down, 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 and stop. Right, we've done the cape. That will do. So our little arms are there. Then we're coming in with the waist, aren't we? Little waist. We're going to come back down again. So off we go again. Little waist. And then we're going to come to there. So this is a bit tighter, this dress, isn't it? But that'll do. That's good. That's good. That's good. Right, high heels. Okay. What I like about this as well is they're all different. They're never going to be the same, but none of us are the same either. So now let's have a look. The dress. So this, why is she, she looks like she's, <laughs> she's like, this is like Beyonce. It's like a hoedown. <laughs> right, ready? So we're going to put this leg here. Just get the legs in first. That leg there and that leg there. Okay, 
This is at the front. This one's around the back. Now, let me show you the, the, the leg, the, the shoe. I'll do it in large so you can see it. Say, say that's the leg. The, hang on, let's just get the skirt going. Right, so la, 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 that's the skirt. Right, now the leg, if we bring the leg down like that, then here, see what you do is you try and put a shoe down on, you put a shoe on it, it never, never looks right. So let me see, so you're going to have to practice this a little bit, but the bottom line is what you're going to do is, depending on how high, how high this heel is, you're going to put a hook there, like that, just like that. So you can put a hook, and then when that hook's there, then you build the shoe in off the hook. You can go like that and you can put a little foot. See, there's your shoe now. So you bring your leg down, you make a little hook there, and then you bring your shoe down to there. That's it. And it's that easy. Okay. So like that, hook, heel, front. That's it. Okay. Hook. It's like the shader tool. And then if you want to make boots out of it, hey, off you go. Make boots. But you've got your basic hook thing, this like arch. She's got arches. That's There's no doubt about that. Right, okay. So, so this one, you're going to make a little hook like that underneath the line. That's the front of the shoe. That's the heel, right? Now come up like so there's the there's that that it's nice it's really a nice shoe i really like this shoe okay that's that shoe then this shoe so it comes down to there so we're going to go hook heel right around the side and then the front bit there like that nice shoes gray I can't wear high heels because it makes me about six foot. Bloody Amazon. There you are. Right, so that's that leg. That's that leg. And they're good. Right, so you've got your shoes in. And we've still got enough room, I think, to make a, a border around the edge. It might be a bit tight. She's, her legs are a little bit longer, but she's a, sex kid. she's a sexy kid. Right, let's give her a hat as well. Now, this hat looks a little bit more like a Chinaman's hat, but this will be okay. I'm going to turn this round, and we'll start here. I want it to be, I wanted it to be a little bit more, a bit flatter than that, but now I've gone and dropped her down there. What sort of hat do we think? Right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll do. Nice. She has a hat. She's very elegant. She has little pearl earrings. She has a pearl necklace. There we go. She's got a long neck. Her arms are underneath the cape. Hands. Hands. Yeah, there she is. Catch that girl. Did you used to like dress it? Do you still dress up when you go out? Or do you... Do you dress for comfort now? I still like dressing up when I go out. I do. Although, um, I must admit, I'm making the hat a bit smaller than, than it was. There we are. Um, I do like dressing up when I go out, but we don't go out that much really now. Let me get the right glasses on. <laughs> right, let's get that neck there. And now we're going to go for it. Ready? Uh, okay, lunge. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how you know, fashions have changed so much, haven't they, over the years. What was your favourite sort of um, era? What did you, I used to think the 50s were just, 50s and 60s, you know, I thought they were really beautiful. I used to love what the ladies wore in the 50s and the 60s, you know. 
I like that, that look. That look is nice. Right, shoe. There we go. Yeah. That was really a very, you know, that Catherine Hepburn sort of really nice with the, you know, with the big petticoats or the very slim, a little bit like what we're drawing here, really. I always thought that that was a really elegant time. I enjoyed those. There you go. That's nice, isn't it? So that's the third one done. I think I'll use uh, a new piece of masking tape so it doesn't slide while I'm doing the... I just need to put this around, the embedder, so that um, I know where to put the message if I'm going to use a message. Mm -hmm. Right, that's in place again. So that's straight. That's straight, that'll do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Um, so tomorrow is a full day of prep for me because of the. Uh, there's a lot of television going on next week. Paul's on telly on Sunday. He's doing felt, which is going to be super. Right. Um, I'm looking forward to that because he's only had one outing so far. Our felt by clarity which is pretty fantastic so um so i said oh, about time we got that better out of the cupboard again before we launched the new collection in june so that'll be nice to watch and paul's very good with dyes he's that's his he's that's his forte really so um so i think that'll be good to see there and he's in bed as easy eh? right that's that okay sorted so we've got one, two, three of these girls. Then, so we've got three of those. And now we've got the, the colour to introduce, haven't we? Which is nice. Right, the colour. So you can see the difference here. I've added a frame around the outside with a black mark, um, Sharpie pen. And now we're going to add some colour. So the first one I did is going to be the driest one. So let's just take one and see where we go with that. So I'm going to take my glasses and I'm going to I'm going to get rid of the pencil mark in the background now. So that will be gone. I'm just using a big pencil because it's easier. than. A, and sometimes I find the, the pink pencil, if you're using it like to get rid of lots of pencil, it tends to, it, sometimes the paper goes pink if you press too hard. Right, that's good. Like it. So the next thing I want to do is decide here now comes the the assembly work. OK, so we can take the color out. Actually, we could do it. I'm just looking at the time. If I now look at the cards, OK, let's have a look at what I've done here. So I've got obviously I've got a green one to go with the, the green dress. I've got an orange one to go with the orange dress, but I can change the colours up. And then I've got a blue one to go with the blue dress. And all I've done is, this is cool, the colours that I found, I found all the colours, because I, I really like these colours. If you were making a set of notelets or cards, right, then, then I think these three colours look really nice together. Having said that, Okay, Indian summer. These are so many. That, I mean, you know, for for fashion now, for colours. I mean, look at these beautiful colourways. You know, it, you could take any one of these, and then colour in, couldn't you? Any one of these dresses would look fabulous in any one of these. So what you what you probably want to do is go to your companion papers and pick a colour that you like, and then go and find the pencil that fits that colour. You see? Now that's my suggestion, is that you go to your companion papers. I picked all three of the, these colours out of the same book, but I could have gone, there are, tw there are 20, there are, how many colours are in here? 
there's 24, 24 different colors in here, you know, and they, any one of them would have worked beautifully. They really are quite something. I don't know about that green. Though. I don't know if I'd wear that green, would you? There's the blue. I like that blue. Right, so then what I've done is I've taken a 5x5 five five card blank, okay? Got a 5x5 five five card blank. So that's the back. That's the back. And then got a black one or a white one. It's up to you, isn't it? it depends on the recipient. depends on the colour, how you want to do it. But what I found, look, let me just take, for example, let's just go with this green one and the black, right? When I took that away and I did that, I thought, well, that's nice. That looks nice. But you know when it's missing something and you think, what is it? What is it? There's something missing. And I, I like, you know, simple. I like style. I like, you know, less is more and all that. But there was something that was missing. And then I remembered our Bowa papers, right? So the, the, here's the other thing. You could go that way as well, couldn't you? Right, which is what we would usually do, isn't it? We'd do that way around. Then I thought, as I was fiddling around, I thought, actually, I like it that way around. I like that. And then enter the bow wall papers. Black on white, white on black. That's why we call them black on white, bow wall, right? Very clever, Gray, even if I say so myself. Right, and if you go to bow wall book two, number two, okay, there's these. There will be these papers in there, in them, their Bowa books, right? <laughs> these are magic because all you do is take strips of these. I'll tell you what, though, right, joking aside, you could put strips of any of these. This is where even that in the back would look so nice, just a strip of letters, you know. These are so beautiful, these books. That's another one. We put that at the back of our beach. Look at that. See, that would look good. And mm, I wonder if it would look good that way around, though. You know, there are so many. Looks great on the black. See, that looks good, too. So your sport for choice here. Depends on the design. That wouldn't work so well. That would. Right? These are great collage papers, but they work fantastic when you're doing. That's nice. See, for card completion, you can add colour if you want as well. Yeah. These are very good, you know. I love that, that very thin one. And I like the grungy one. With the right colour, they are pretty special, these. Jim did these. Nice. See? So what I did was I went back to book them. There are pages in Bullwob 2. Cut a strip. There you go. So you know how much mileage you can get four of these. Okay, so you cut a strip out of them. Okay. And then, so I took that and I thought, right, if I stick that under there, pop that there like that, that is dynamite. I see that change. That's a game changer for me. And then it's up to me where I want to, do I want it under her hands? So it's, she's like, le it's almost like she's leaning on it. See? like that, put it there, put it where you like now, there, these are so cool, whether you use the black one or the white one, depends on the black card or the white card I suppose, right, so bear that in mind, do you want to add a little bit of colour to it, you can, so, so you've got a five by five, you've got a strip of the uh, Indian summer in the back. What do I use to stick it down? That. Okay. And then we've got colouring pencils. So when we go to colour in, so now you know how the back was done. So these are really good finishing tricks. Let's go to her. What colours do we want to do her? Let's go with that lovely russet colour. So what we're going to do is, so we've got this dress here so waist hips and down we go right and then we're going to just take that edge and I thought it would look really nice 
just go down there like that. If we just add a little bit of shadow on that edge there. So rather than colouring the whole dress, I thought it would look nice if we just add. So you can go out a bit now. I'm doing this circular like that. Just round and round and round. Okay. They look really good when they're when they're done. And you just add a little bit of depth. There we go. So you just build the colour like that. Put a little bit in her hat. It's not supposed to be completely coloured in. We're not going to go for the, the complete, you know, colour in every one of these bobbles. That would look pretty weird, I think. I don't know, it might look all right, but I just wanted to go with that edge there like that. And the, the more you stick to that edge, the darker it will... See, you get shade now. See how you're starting to get shadow. So you just turn the pencil around. And you just add shadow to that side. There you go. Doesn't that look cool? Sort of, she's there, but she's not there. It's like an illusion. There you go. Have you ever worn a dress like this, this type? I have. I have. When I was about 18, I remember strutting my stuff around Saint-Tropez in a dress that you couldn't sit down in. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. I wouldn't now, though, to be honest. But you did in those days. It looked good. It was blue. That's what I remember. It was blue. And it was so tight that I had to walk. I had to stand the whole time. I couldn't sit down in it. <laughs> that was logical, Captain. Right, doesn't that look good? There you go. That's the girl. And then we're going to write something here. So on this one, I wrote, you're a class act. How about, how about, I love this, happy new you. I'm going to write happy, this is for Grace. Happy new you. And then when I get there, I'm going to do a little flourish. All right, and that will look lovely. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, though. I've gone a bit big. Happy new. I've written it, and now I'm ignoring it. You. There you are, Gracie. That one's for you, darling. Happy New You. And then when that's nice, I might ink that again. I might go slowly. I've got the wrong glasses on for this job, right? So you've got your message. Happy. See, I don't mind if it's sketchy and it goes again. Do you? Happy. And then I'll let it dry. Happy. New, you. There you go. And then we've got that lovely Elizabethan flourish thing going again. And we go. Nice. Happy new you. And when it's dry, I'll I'll wipe that back, rub it back. I won't do it now because I know what will happen. And then I'll put a black marker pen around the outside. That's the last thing we need to do, right? So we'll just take a piece of copy paper, piece of copy paper in the back. Stand up for this one. Right, make sure it works. Okay, and then this is a trick, right? See the hands here? These fingers hold it down while I'm working. So it doesn't matter how thick or thin the card is. And I'll just go like that. So these fingers here are holding the card down and then I just dig into the side, turn it around and then run down like that. See, if you stop, you get a little mark. Don't sweat the small stuff. There you go. And that's how you get your edge. See? Neat. See where I... Uh, he who hesitates, that's what happened. It's all right, though. It's good. It's an original, friends. There you go. Happy New You, you're a class act, she's got style, 
and happy birthday, gorgeous. So I hope that you enjoyed that. Loads of uh, trip tricks and tips and ideas for F for fashion. So there you go. That brings us nicely to exactly eight o'clock. And I hope that you enjoyed that. And I will see you. Let me see. Um, I'll see you uh, on Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning in the shack. And we will be F G G G. What does G stand for? G for, I've got a good idea. Any ideas? Give us your ideas. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for helping us as well, Grace. And uh, have a good evening. I'll see you Monday. Lots of love. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.